Hello, so this is going to be a video on my current favourite gas masks. Now, the one on my face obviously won't be a surprise to anybody, it's the Avon CT12, probably the most asked question on it in my streams. What is your favourite gas mask? Well, here is the Avon CT12. So, this is the only Avon mask I'm going to be including in the video. Um, the FM12 is very similar to this, it just has the drinking tube. This is the model where you can swap the filters to either side of a blanking plug, as you can see there. Um, some models of FM12 certainly don't have a blanking plug on one side, they're like the S10 with a fixed filter port. Um, but you can get models of FM12 with the uh, sort of two filter ports. Well, the reason I like this mask is very good field of view, quite tough polycarbonate lenses. Uh, it's easy enough to hear what people are saying when they're wearing the mask. And just overall it's quite lightweight and comfortable. It fits the shape of my face very well. Uh, so overall I don't really have any complaints to make with this mask. It's one of the reasons I like it so much. If you wanted a drinking tube with the exact same mask, basically go for the Avon FM12. All the straps can be adjusted easily, but the bottom two straps are designed to be the quick adjust straps. The others, although it's quite fast to adjust those, are designed to just sort of stay in place. But yeah, overall, the Avon CT12 is very good. If you like the S10, it's basically just an S10 improved in every way. Um, unless you really know what you're looking for from the side profile-wise, they look very similar to the S10. It's just basically a bit more slimline and lightweight. Um, inside, that's what it looks like, as you can see. No drinking tube or anything like that in there. Very simple layout. But you get a good field of view and everything, and it's all in all a very good mask. So that's probably still my favourite mask ever. Right, now to go to my second favourite mask now. Um, this is a mask I got very recently, and it's one that I've come to really like. So this is the Spassiani TR2002. So a bit of a mouthful, but this is basically an Italian industrial mask. Um, but it's a one-size-fits-all, sort of very comfortable industrial mask with a big panoramic lens, as you can see. You've got a neck-carrying strap there. So when you've not got it on, you can hang it just comfortably from your neck like that. And then... You've got a five-point adjustable rubber head harness that's pretty much meant to fit any size head. So you pop it on, do all the straps up. And then you've got a mask that's quite comfortable, gives you an excellent field of view. I can see right down as well. Um, what I'm going to do in a minute is try all these masks for binoculars to see how good they are for looking for optics because this obviously has a slight curve on the panoramic lens so that might mean you won't be able to look through binoculars and things like that all that well but as far as I'm concerned it's a very good mask in terms of visibility comfort for wearing for a long time you know again it being a one size fits all mask that's very good um, so there's a lot of stuff going for this mask currently you can buy them quite cheaply on eBay normally less than £40. Um, I've recently bought one of these for Weapon Collector as a present because um, he needed a new gas mask and I thought I'd get him something like this that would be really good for him to use in the shed and things like that. I use this mask when I'm volunteering if I want a full face mask on because a mask like this looks less intimidating than using a military style sort of mask of two eyepieces. So there we go. So the Spassiani TR2002. Very good Italian sort of just panoramic mask sort of in designed for industrial use but you can use it for whatever that's what the mask looks like on the inside and as you can see very good field of view in there or a nasal cup works perfectly it doesn't fog it up if they wanted to improve it all they'd have had to have done is put a clear silicon or nail or nasal cup in like the scott m98 which i'll show next because that mask does do that um, which just means when you're wearing the mask you get an even better field of view so now let's talk about the Scott M98. So there's a couple of variants of this. Sometimes it's called the Pro Mask, but the M98 is the military variant. Basically, the only difference is this one has um, a drinking tube connector there. And as you can see, there's a drinking tube on the inside of the mask. So as they've done with this mask, which is really sensible, they've made it with clear silicon for the oral nasal cup, which basically means you get a really good field of view because you can actually see through the oral nasal cup. So your exhale valve is directly on the bottom. The voice diaphragm is here, and the filter intake is here. So as much as lots of you know I'm a bit of an Avon fanboy, and I hate the Scott GSR, I do really like the Scott M98. If Britain adopted a mask like this instead of the GSR, it would have been perfect, but sadly they didn't. The only thing I can complain about really of this is the oral nasal, not the oral nasal cup, sorry, the voice diaphragm is a bit buzzy, which you'll hear when I start talking with it. Um, 
but I'll demonstrate that now. So let's just take the um, Avon filter off of there, stick that on this mask. So whether or not this one was actually made in Finland, whether or not the Finnish military ever adopted any of these, I don't know, because there's the Scott M95 Finland did use, and the M98 is meant to be just basically a very similar mask with a panoramic lens. Very comfortable five-point head harness with sort of one of these mesh head straps. Lots of masks are going to um, a head harness system like this now, which is very good. The skull cap kind of ones are much better than just having a um, simple, you know, like, connector strip. So let's put that on, use the bit at the back to pull that fully down. Then we'll do the straps up. This makes an excellent chin seal to my face. Get all these straps tightened. And there we go. So the M98 is very good because I said I can see it. I can see through that oral nasal cup no problem. If I put the finger there, for example, I can see it because the oral nasal cup being clear means you know you get a very good field of view. So I said the only thing I can complain about really of this mask is it's got a bit of a buzzy voice diaphragm, but I think people can at least still hear you. Comfortable to wear for long periods. Not much distortion to your vision at all with this panoramic lens, it's a very good one. Again, made from polycarbonate, so very tough. You'd have a hard time breaking this by accident if you drop the mask or something like that. And overall, yes, very good. So, now let's go on to the last mask. And the last mask I'm going to show actually has some very strong similarities between this one. Um, well, it's kind of like an amalgamation of both the S10 style masks. Oh, there goes that one. But as you can see, completely fine, didn't break. Um, it's the Forshida F2A4. Now, I'd really like to get the military variant of this because this is the civil defence variant they did for a bit. Um, but yeah, basically, so here's the Forshida. But what's interesting with this mask is that basically. The rubber it's made out of on the straps are very, very similar to the Scott M98. Um, to the point it feels like you're pretty much wearing the same thing when you've got it on. But, obviously, design-wise, I think it owes a lot of influence when these were designed after the um, sort of S10 generation to the sort of Avon masks. Lots of the components are in the exact same places. Now, the military variant of this would be better if I had it, because it actually has a proper blanking plug on that side, so you can swap the filters around. I mean, ideally what you'd want is, even if you weren't using a second filter, you'd want a blanking plug, like the CT12 has, where you've got a voice diaphragm in it, so you've just got an extra voice diaphragm. Um, this doesn't have a particularly good voice diaphragm, as you can see there. It's mostly just an XL valve at the front. This bit does act like a slight voice diaphragm, but not very well. But this is a very, very comfortable mask. Um, if I had to wear one of my masks for a very long period of time, I think this would probably be the best one in that regard. The rubber is very, very comfortable, um, and the straps are very comfortable. So if we pull this on, we'll get the straps adjusted. So, what I really like for this mask is it does a really, really good face seal to my face. A bit like I was saying the Scott M98 did. The rubber just seems to want to actually stick properly to your, you know, face in all regards. So even to the point where you could probably undo the straps. But again, excellent field of view in this mask. Absolutely no problems there. So yeah, very comfortable. As I said, the only disadvantage of this is, like the, mi the military version has a drinking tube and a blanking plug on that side. This would be better if it had a better voice diaphragm or even more of an actual voice diaphragm than what it's got, but otherwise, I really like this. You know, as I said, it's comfortable. It sticks very well to the shape of my face. You have no worries of this coming loose or, you know, breaking the seal. So, what I'm just going to do now is get some binoculars. And I'm just going to see, you know, do all these masks work with optics to a degree? Because that would be an interesting thing to find out. Okay, so, here are the binoculars. Hopefully they'll fit around my neck on all these masks so I can just take the mask off to uh, test it. So we're going to go in reverse order, we'll start off with the Fushida and then go for all the other masks that way. So yeah, I can look through the binoculars, um, it's not the perfect optical picture, but yeah, I can do it. So yeah, this would work with optics, it's not the most brilliant mask for working with optics, but you could at least do it. Iron sights would obviously work better, but yeah, for optics it works. For the other masks, I'm not going to bother um, chucking the filters back on them because that's not going to affect the ability to use um, binoculars at all. So now let's go to the Scott M98. Now 
Alright, let's try this one. You can just about do it, but it is nowhere near as good. Just because the problem panoramic lens masks have, obviously, is the... Obviously, the lens is a lot further away from your eye. So using it with optics isn't as good. I do really like this mask, but again, you can just about see down the binoculars, but it's like looking through a pinhole kind of thing. But yeah, you can use them, it's just not brilliant. But, as I said, if you didn't want a mask like this for using with optics, there wouldn't be a problem anyway. I imagine it's going to be a similar case with the Spaziani, but we'll see anyway. So let's put this one on. Right, so here's the Spaziani. And again, a similar issue to the Scott M98. Because of the big panoramic lens, you can see down the binoculars, but it's a much smaller field of view than you'd like. Um, but yeah, it's possible. So, it's not a complete failure. You can do it. You can get both eyes seeing out the binoculars, but as I said, it's not ideal. And now for the CT12, still my favourite gas mask and yet you can do this very well. Not as well as something like the Shums, an actual dedicated optical mask, but in terms of a regular sort of military mask, yeah, I can see down the binoculars very well. And you can actually push with this mask, with binoculars slightly closer to your eye, and as the rubber of the mask bends in, you know, that works. But again, it's because these masks, although there's a slight curve to the um, polycarbonate lens, they're relatively front-facing and sit quite close to the eye. So there's not actually a problem getting, you know, the binoculars into the um, bit there. Again, yeah, that's a really good field of view at the moment, I've managed. Yeah, that's actually very, very good. So yeah, there you go. The Avon CT12, I think, because it works well with optics, is still my favourite mask. But the Spaziani, I think, now is a very close second. And the um, Scott M98 and the Forshida F2A4 are still also very, very good masks. If you can find any of these masks for a reasonable price online, in good condition, I'd definitely pick them up, because I trust my life on any of these masks, provided you've got a good filter with them.